Enjoy is brought to you by Gondor Cosmetics and Societe Generale Ghana. Great, wonderful view right here in Ghana. These are the kind of scenes that artists would love to paint, bring to life. Well, today we are here to talk about watercolor painting with no other than Jonathan Kwejiri Agri. He loves using watercolor paint. Well, I'm going to catch up with him so that he shows us what he has. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. It's a wonderful place you have here. Ah, thank you. I love the view. Thank you. Yeah, maybe we'll paint it before you go. Definitely, I'll take you up on that. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, who is Jonathan? Uh, Jonathan is an international watercolorist, a Ghanaian, uh, born here. At what age do you realize that you have this talent to paint? Uh, at the age of five, I, I realized that I, I like to draw a lot. So when school is on vacation, I go out with my sketch pad to, to sketch uh, a lot and then with pencil colors and all that. So at the age of 10, then I told my dad to enroll me with a roadside artist so that I could serious? be working part-time, yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, your, your techniques have been appreciated you know, across the world. You've traveled extensively. Uh, these are some of the international uh, oh. catalogs. Uh, are you serious? You're yeah. in here? Yes, in any of the books here, you have my painting. Wow. So this is, for example, mm -hmm. the only African I need to see representing you to believe the it. world in watercolor. <sighs> and, uh, this painting is, uh, is a scene from Cape Coast. There are other several international catalogs. Mm -hmm. yeah, this one is from Thailand okay. and I featured the Burkina Man painting. All right. And, and this one is also our, from Turkey and I featured the El Elmina painting in it. Elmina? Yes. My, I can see you love, you love the coast. Yes, yes, I'm okay. the coast. <laughs> I, I connected with the view outside of your house. It's amazing. Thank you. And I would love for us to paint it, if it's okay with you. Sure, sure, sure. We can, we can do, do it? it? Sure, sure. Well, we I would love it. to help. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Watercolor is a painting method in which the paints are made of pigment suspended in a water-based solution. Watercolors are usually translucent and appear luminous because the pigments are laid down in a pure form with few fillers obscuring the pigment colors. This is the view I was talking about. It's a breathtaking view. So how long will it take you to paint this beautiful skyline? Uh, like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yes. Just 20 minutes? Yes. All right. Less. No problem. No problem. So well, let's uh, get ahead and uh, have ourselves a wonderful painting. Okay. So we start with the skyline area. And then with this, when the skyline is done, the rest, the painting will take care of itself okay. with the washes, the watercolor techniques okay. to depict all this uh, horizon, the foreground, and then the middle ground, and then the background. Wow. Yes. So I'm just taking one of the roofs far there as my focal point. Oh, okay, one of them. Yes, okay. as my focal point. Then the rest of the buildings becomes the supporting element. I, I, I can't wait to see how everything comes out. Sure. Okay. okay. What's the difference between watercolor, acrylic and oil? It's confusing. Uh, with watercolor, it's, it's a transparent medium and then it's different from acrylic and uh, oils. With oils, you need the turpentine and thinner to mix it. Mm. With acrylic also, you need water, but the, the chemistry of uh, acrylic is more intense than the watercolor. Mm. And with watercolor, all you need is, uh, is the water, and then when you are working with it also, you have to make sure you get the transparency okay. effect of it, yeah, and it dry very fast. And one unique thing is that I think it, it, you can paint it, is it only on paper? Yes, uh, because of its strength, it's less, you know, it only works on paper, and it has to be white paper. Interesting. So um, apart from the brush, what other tools do you use in, you know, water, watercolour painting? Uh, you can use old toothbrush that you don't use it anymore so for some effect. Yes. Oh! Some people also use salt to, to, to add to the effect they want to achieve. Salt? Yes, yeah, salt. Wow, you have no idea what I'm seeing here. This guy just shocked me. 
Wow, I mean, you usually see these paintings, you know, hang, hanging in hallways, but I'm here and you just did this landscape. It's pretty. So, I mean, are there people you actually look up to? Yes, I have a lot of international artists I look up to, like, like uh, Guan Wenjing okay. uh, from China, Li Yu, also from China, then the late Nicolas Simons, who was my friend, also oh. in the US. And the good thing is I've been able to exhibit with almost all of them <gasps> together in the group shows around the world. I mean, your, your, your talent cannot be underestimated. But one would ask, does painting pay? Yes, it pays a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, last year I was invited by the Chinese government and they collected four of my paintings for their national museum. Shinda Art Museum. Yeah, I know it's a lot of money. Those are the, the, the surprises you get along the way if you focus on doing what you are doing. It, it, tell me about some of the awards you know you, 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 you uh, cherish the most. The one I cherish the most is the one I won first prize in Istanbul, <gasps> Turkey, uh, about three years ago. Okay. Yeah. And then I won the African Young Icon, Asajo for Dr. Kwame African Juniors Award, the Young Icon category. I mean, I think I can take this one, can I? Ah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's been an amazing day. Yeah. So. It has been an amazing day on a joy. I mean, this is beautiful. There is your view, and there you have it, captured by watercolor paint. This program has been sponsored by Gando Cosmetics and Societe General Ghana. Enjoy.